Let's start with deploying vSphere replication appliance first on vCSA and ESXi1, which is my uh, source site or production site. So I will highlight ESXi and right click deploy OVF templates and choose local files. And here I have a folder called VRA. And the last five files, apart from add-ons, these five files, I'll select them, open. As you can see, five files selected. Next. And I would say here, VRA1. idsense.com yes I want that's fine All right, publisher VMware, vSphere application version 8.2.0.8989. Download size this, size on disk is this. If using thin provision, all good for me. Accept the license agreement. I'm okay with two CPUs, it's a lab environment. Thin provision is fine with me and I will choose data store one VM network is all okay and I will go for manual with IP44 password I would say an NTP server. Maybe I can choose use my domain controller. Host name of this virtual machine V R A one dot ID sense. Sense.com one nine two and sixty eight one dot one is the gateway domain name is it sense.com domain name server one nine two and sixty eight one dot two hundred and IP for VRA management interface. I think I have created a record in the DNS 192.168.1.231. So I will use this 192.168.1.231. And subject mask is going to be slash 24 or 255, 255, 255, zero. Or next, uh, that's why I'm restricted access to, I have no problem at all. Ready to compute, complete, just verify things, looks okay. And let's see what happens. And now it's importing, importing this OVF template to ESXi. So what I will do, I will pause this video and I will resume when it's complete. Okay, as you can see, uh, deployment and import in deployment of VRA OVF template is complete. So what I will do, I'll now power it on and we will take it from there. So I'll just go and power it on. 
and now it's starting up it will take a while it will go through some process and once it will be ready for us to configure a couple of other things i will resume this video just to show you a glimpse while it's starting up as you can see i open the web console from here i'm just clicking it and use the web console and you can see it's a web console and it's starting up so i will resume and it's ready all right so appliance is up and it's telling me to manage this go to 192.168.1.231.5480 and that's what we're gonna do so i'll open https 192.168.1.231.5480 please proceed and we are appliance I hope I remember the password that I have supplied. Yes, I did. So let's go to the configuration section. And as you can see, it says for the lookup service address, it's using, first of all, it's using the embedded database. For the lookup service address, it's using, it has the address of the vCenter and SSO administrator information is all automatically picked up let me just type the password for sso uh, vrm host which is the name of this host itself vrm site name uh, yep av center address is fine root it all looks good so let's say save and restart service and once it's done we are all then this vSphere appliance is ready so i will just pause it until it's yeah certificate yeah, accepted it because it's a self-signed certificate So let me pause the video. Okay, as you can see, successfully saved the configuration and services are running. So we are all good. So I will just log out. So we have this VRA ready in this um, Sydney, New South Wales uh, data center, which is our source site or production site what i will do now i will install two more vras vra2 in target site which is perth wa on esxi2 and then vra3 on uh, ESXi3, which is an offshore site. I'm install it here. It's an offshore data center from the offshore cluster. So I will install VRA3 here. Okay. And I will use this G, like each VRA. VCSA1 will have a VRA1. In source site, target site, VCSA2 will have VRA2, and offshore site, vCenter, VCSA3 will have VRA3. Same process, the only difference is, of course, the uh, login credentials and IP configurations. So I will proceed with it and we will continue when all those VRA are imported and ready to roll. Thank you.